Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is Drafting Tools 101, where we take a look at many of the tools I use when drawing and drafting. In this episode, we're going to take a look at erasers for drafting. As you learn more about drafting and practicing the skills of drawing and sketching, you're bound to make mistakes. The eraser is one of the most common drafting tools you'll need. Let's take a look at a few of the tools I use while drawing and erasing. This is a dry cleaning pad. In school, we used to call it a scumbag. It contains a grit-free powder that gently removes dirt and smudges without smearing your drawing. You want to use it one of two ways. Gently squeeze or twist until a small amount of powder falls out on your graphite drawing surface. Or you can gently drop the pad in a couple locations on the drawing. Be careful when lifting it up off the drawing not to smear the drawing surface. Using this while working on a graphite drawing will keep your work cleaner. Speaking of keeping the drawing surface clean, a drafting brush is a great tool to do just that. The brush is soft and it won't smudge the drawing, but at the same time, it helps to clear away unwanted debris. Vinyl erasers, sometimes called plastic erasers, are the toughest. But be careful, you can easily tear through the paper surface with them. These erasers are definitely handy because they can erase almost anything, even ink. I tend to prefer vinyl erasers because they're tough, they don't crumble, and the color doesn't rub off on the drawing surface. If you have a challenging area to erase on your drawing, you can use an eraser shield. No one is an expert instantly at anything, especially drawing and drafting. Making changes and trying new things is all part of this process. Remember, the eraser really is an important tool. Sometimes what you take away is just as important as what you keep. So, thanks for watching and join us next time when we take another look at the wonderful world of drawing tools.